On today's episode of The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, we're going to take a look at the latest update for Topaz Photo AI. This is update version 1.1.5. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today, we're looking at the new update for Topaz Photo AI, version 1.1.5. Before I show you this new update, let's take a look at the roadmap where Photo AI is headed. If you come up here to help and click on help and click on give feedback, it's going to take you to this page right here. And here's where you can look at what's happening with the different updates. Like here's Topaz Photo AI, the new version right here. You click on that, it'll tell you what's new here, what's improved. But if you want to see where Photo AI is headed, click on Photo Roadmap Update and that'll give us a lot of good information. It lets us know what's upcoming in the near future, and one in particular that I'm interested in is the in-app cropping tool. Now, I know we've all been wanting this, so they're working on developing that, and that should be coming up soon. Now, here's one here that really interests me, and that is further improved subject refinement capabilities, especially for images that are difficult to mask with AI brush. Now, I think, I'm pretty sure this is, they're working on just a basic brush that we can paint the mask on wherever we want it here. And this is something I know a lot of us have been wanting, so I can't wait to see that happen. And then we could look at the future. And this is very important. And when you click on Get Help and you come here, this is where you can provide feedback. It says, in general, we focus on building features that pave the path to zero-click image quality for as many users as possible. This is also why stability and performance are so important to us. While we won't be able to implement every feature request, we do read each post and consider your feedback invaluable. Thanks for using Topaz Photo AI, and we're looking forward to building a great tool in 2023 together. Now, don't forget to give Topaz your feedback because that is how they're improving this product. And remember, to get there, I'll just show you one more time. Inside of Photo AI, click on Help, click on Give Feedback, and this page will come up. Go to Photo Roadmap Update, and scroll down through, and right here is where you can leave your reply. Now, right now, you don't see a reply. You have to click on Login and put your account information in, and then you'll be able to come here and click Reply, and let Topaz know what you like, what you don't like, what you would like to see improved, because they take your comments very seriously. And this product will get better and better because of you and me, the users of Topaz Photo AI. And then if you scroll down here, you can see different comments that people are giving here. And you could check out and see what other people want. And you also see responses from Topaz here as well. So check this out. Now let's take a look at some of the things that I feel are really great for this new update. You know, there's a lot of bug fixes and general fixes in here, but let me show you what's really new. And that is the subject detection. Now, if I hover over subject, you can see what Topaz has selected as my subject. Now, if I click on refine, you'll notice we now have overlay opacity and we have this color swatch right here this is the new feature here and this is a good one because we can adjust the overlay opacity so if you move the slider to the left you can decrease the opacity or if you want it full strength you could take it the whole way up and this is helpful to get your mask just right so you can adjust it for your eyes and the way you like to see it and then you also have this color swatch if you double click this a color wheel comes up, or depending if you're in a Mac or PC and how your colors come up, it'll be different on different devices. But on my device on a Mac, it looks like this. If I wanted to change this to say green, I could click on green and click OK. And now you can see that overlay is in green. Or if I double click this again and say, well, I want it in blue, click OK. And now it's in blue. Click it again, and now say I like magenta. I can come over here in magenta, and you can give it more saturation, less saturation, depending what you want. And I'm going to put mine like right here and click OK. But don't forget, you also have the opacity for the overlay as well that you can adjust. So that's really nice, and that's one of the new improvements. We can now adjust overlay opacity as well as overlay color. 
And once you get your color and opacity just the way you like it, then you can go ahead and refine. Like I can add this girl's pants in here if I wanted to. But this is not a full tutorial. It's just showing you some of the new features here. And once you're happy with everything, just click done. Now, the final feature I want to show you deals with recovering faces. Now, before with recovering faces, if you wanted to select certain faces, you may want them all or you may only want a few of them. You would have to come up here to right above reset to autopilot settings, recovering six of six faces. And if you click select, you could come in here and say, you know what? I don't want this face and I don't want this face or this face. And by the way, to select or deselect, you just click with inside the box, left click with your mouse so that adds his face. Click again, that subtracts his face. Or you could come over here and say select none by clicking on select none or select all. But say, again, I don't want this face, so I just left click it. I don't want this face, left click, or this one, I'll left click it. And then click on done. Now that was the way we had to do it. But now we have another option, and that is this. Instead of coming up here to recover three of six faces and clicking select, you can just click this module, recover faces. And then inside here, you can see right now we have three faces selected. I can click on select and I can do the selection right from within the module. So let's say we want to add this guy's face back and this girl's face back, but I want to leave this face out and now I can click done. And now if you want to see what faces you have selected, what you do is you just come up to recovering five or six faces and hover over this faces in blue. And that shows you in yellow, the faces that are selected. If they're not in yellow, they're not selected, but that's a new feature. Again, a small feature, but I think a really good one. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of this new update. Do you like the way Topaz Photo AI are going with this ongoing process of pretty much weekly updates? I think they're doing a really good job, and I think this product is getting better and better. But remember, in the future, they're going for just like a one-click option. They're trying to get this Photo AI so good that you can just... Have one click and then you can get on with your processing. They want to take all the hard work out of here for you. And hopefully it'll get to that point where we can do it all with just one click. Now, if you want to see all the new features for this update, again, just come up here to help. Click on give feedback. Now, of course, you have the roadmap you could look at where they're headed or you could come to the latest update 1.1.5. Click on that. And then you could read all about all the new improvements in this update. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first look at the new update for Photo AI version 1.1.5. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe. Click the bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.